hello you, welcome to Geekism, you join me back in Ostriv, I believe it to be pronounced, an Ukrainian word for island. And I didn't look that up, I got it off uh, of another PC who's been playing the game as well. Um, it's a very good series, you should check it out. Um, so yeah, there we go, we built uh, the, uh, the eight homes in the last episode, ninth one over here, one of them is going to be empty. Uh, there you go, house is vacant, so you know, as soon as we start getting a set up where the people can move in, uh, that one's there ready for them. Um, but now we need to start building out, I'm pretty sure we need, next thing we need to work on is food really, because they have a supply of food, like flour and potato, uh, but really that's only going to last a short amount of time. So uh, we can go to production and farms, um, I'm going to try building a farm, now I'll be honest with you, I've, uh, place occupied. This is the second time I've had a go at this video today because the first time just nothing would build and I don't really know why. Um, so, but we're going to try again anyway. We need a farm. We need to run around like this. Uh, we need to find somewhere that's suitable for a farm to go, which I feel like here is. We're going to sort of this will be the edge of town, I guess. And if we place this down, problem is um, people don't seem to really want to do anything about it. You know, like. We've got a mayor there, he's fine, so you can you can carry on. Um camp storage, we have a bit of bit of iron saved and some nails. And there's a car park in there. So over here we have the Smithy that also has some iron. And uh Yeah, he's working on that. So here um, thatchery, I reckon one thatcher is probably enough to keep up with the demand at the moment. Uh, forestry, we have two foresters, that's fine. So really, ah, we have a labourer this time. See, last time we just we didn't get any anybody basically. That was the problem. There was that nobody wanted to start working on this farm, but now we have somebody. So can we uh, speed up the game a little and uh, and see if somebody actually heads over here and does something about it? Yeah, it looks like we've got a guy heading his way up. There we go, fantastic. All right, so yeah, first episode, unfortunately, just nothing happened. I was playing for about five or six minutes, sitting there waiting, and nobody wanted to do anything. Hmm. So uh, but now we have a farm operational. Um, the farming in this game is actually quite in-depth, I believe. It looks like everything in this game is quite in-depth, to be honest. <laughs> um, but your farm here that we're building now is basically the farmhouse, the building... Uh, that sort of looks after the grain and or whatever we produce uh, but then the actual farms themselves are individual fields that we're going to set up in a moment as well and we have to worry about crop rotation and all sorts of stuff so while that's getting built let's have a little look into it um, to build a farm and you'll be able to grow crops use the add field button to specify an area for growing Oh, excuse me for knocking the microphone. I've had to move the mic stand today, so I'm not used to where it is. Um, created field will be automatically assigned to the current farm, but you can later reassign it to another farm or cow shed. Okay. Um, uh, to assign all fields, oh, sorry, all assigned fields will be shown in the farm's properties panel. You can drag and drop them to change priority. Choose a crop by clicking on the crop icon and switching the field to active to start sowing. If there's a plow on a farm, sowing will start after the field is plowed. Plowing helps restore soil fertility. The soil contains three types of nutrients indicated by colours. You can hover your mouse cursor over them to see the exact values. And each crop type, uh, type has a specific... I can't read today at all. Each crop type has specific demand for nutrients. So thoughtful crop rotation is crucial for productive farming. You can change crop types each winter manually or you can hire a manager to allow for automatic rotation with up to six slots. Oh, we're going to be hiring a manager. Uh, leaving the field fallow or even better using it as pasture restores fertility. You can hire workers for plowing and taking care of draft animals. Uh, also, labourers will automatically be hired uh, on sowing and harvesting. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, we have workers um, who kind of do the job as is, and then we have uh, labourers who come in as needed. So, I can't help noticing they've all gone again. Oh, no, we have a guy here going to work. Okay, so you are getting started, aren't you? Yeah, superb. You're doing exactly what's needed of you, pal. Let's have a look. Oh, and we're thawing out as well. Beautiful. Look at that head. The snow goes away. How pretty is that? Okay, he's cracking on with that farm. So as soon as that's built up, uh, we'll start getting people fed. Uh, the other options are obviously cattle as well, so it's not just crops. Uh, we can also have a, uh, a fisher, fishery wharf, a fishing dock there. So it produces fish, holds up to three fishing boats. Um, so we could produces fishing boats. Oh, so we actually need to open them to get the boat. So we could look at maybe doing something like that down here. Um, what do we reckon? Let's have a look. We're, we're on a river, aren't we? The whole thing's a river. There's no lake that opens up, so we're going to be doing course fishing. 
Um, but that should be fine. Let's get this farm built, because maybe the problem was that I put both of those down in, in my last go. Uh, that could have been the issue. So, yeah, once again, we've got wood, nail, laborers there awaiting wood. <laughs> uh, so we've got the wood, you know. Uh, maybe this is the problem. We've currently got, like, four foresters. We can now have two foresters, one Thatcher, one Smith. Clay they get themselves. Okay, maybe that will now get more. So, yeah, we go. That might have been the problem. We need to start looking at uh, managing staff in a little better in other places, I think. So here we go, our farm is getting operational. It's a very pretty game. Um, there's a roadmap for it available. I forgot to mention in the last episode where you can actually buy it from. It's not currently available on Steam. You can buy it from the, uh, the their website, um, which I'll link in the description. Um, there is a roadmap, and for the most part, it's new features and stuff, but one of the ones they have said is that they want to make the game look even prettier. Uh, so work on textures, new trees, I know is one that they've said, which I could kind of agree with. The trees look a little ropey. Um, yeah, so they are working on it. But um, I say they, it's just a one-man team, pretty much. I think he's got some, I think he's doing some, uh, he's got some sound guys, usually usually the sound's done separately. Where have you come from with your thatch? All the way from over there. You can come, that's fine. I don't mind you milling your way up here that way. So we have the, uh, you are now waiting clay. I'm hoping somebody's gone to get some. They have, which is fantastic. They're going the long way around, but that's fine. Yeah, really like how the uh, how the path is cleared procedurally. Very nice touch. I mean, part of my OCD is clicking a little that I can't pick where it goes. I said I don't have OCD. You know, just the the idea of everything being a little bit neater. I like. Um, yeah, but it's so. But I still think it's a cool feature. It's it's very uh, very interesting mechanic. Um, come on, nobody working here again. We've it's got the wood. It's got nails, it's got clay. Somebody's coming over here now. There we go. It's just seem they seem to throw their houses up and now they've all got homes. They just they ain't fussed about doing anything else. But quite quickly, folks, you're gonna be starving. So we need to kind of get this up and running so we've got a harvest that comes in before the end of winter, really. But they're not making any headway at all. There's one guy here awaiting clay. I'm hoping he's bringing clay. Looks like he's like you can see him coming down there. It's... Mm. There we go. He's going to drop that clay off. Actually, going to do some work? No, they're just bringing the stuff in. Uh, there we go. Maybe it's just because we're a bit far out. I'm not sure, but their farms should be hard, far out, shouldn't they? Really, you know. Let's see. More stuff dropped off. Now there's wood. See, they've got nail wood and clay all there, waiting ten wood. Looks like they've got what they need. So, can we actually get somebody up here to build something now, please? Anyone? Man, yeah, they're just not in a uh, not in a rush at all. I mean, I, I guess they just have to go and rest and and eat and stuff. But yeah, they don't um, they don't seem to be rushed at all. We have a couple of workers. Here we go. The workers are the ones that actually put the stuff on the walls, aren't they? So that's good. Yep, yeah, there we go. We've got that awful hammering noise. It means uh, stuff's happening. Blip, 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 blip. There we go. And ugh, still not enough wood and nails there. Um, we need labourers to get the wood. But look, they're all sitting around. I, I just, I can only assume that it's just because they're far out. Unfortunately, we can't give them stuff to do. They can only. They've got. There we go. There's some have gone to get the wood. They all work, you know, sort of, uh, you know, on their own. They decide what they're doing and get it done. And now we have some wood going in. There we go. We've got 19 wood stored. 20 wood did that much, so that should be enough, actually. Um, now we're just waiting on some thatch uh, work. What's that one, I wonder? Wood nail work, clay and thatch. Okay, it has what it needs, I think. So these labourers will drop off now. No more labourers needed now, so it has everything it needs. So now all we need is a couple of workers to come and finish off the build. Uh, we're now into May. My worry is that we're not going to get any we're not going to get any crops done by the end of the year, um, which could be a problem. Come on, folks! There we go. We've got somebody. Yeah, we've got a couple of guys now who are up to no good. Putting on the roof in this neighbourhood. There we go. Uh, a bit of thatch. A bit of work next, whatever that is. 
Yep, and a bit of thatch to finish off. Ta-da, we have a farm. Okay, so I'm on a manager. We need a plow. We need two adult oxen and a carpenter building. Wow, okay. Well, for now then, let's just add a field. Um, I'm assuming we draw these as a, as a, oh, is that like a feet? Okay, okay, okay. Hair too long. All right, well, let's go. Place is occupied. Okay, we're a bit close to our farm there. So we'll come out a little. Okay, maximum output. Let's go for 30. Okay, good. So we have 100, 100, 100. Wheat. Activate. Plowing skip. Oh, okay. There we go. Stuff's happening. Oh, stuff's happening. Cool. Right. Well, let's, let's get another one of those up, up and running then. Uh, add field. Let's get one here. Oh, let's see close to the door there. That's fine. Probably like that. There we go. So now you can be um, potato. There we go. We've got some sowing season is over. So we admit, there we go. So we have actually missed that. We needed to get that just in. Well, we're living off wheat this year then. That's uh, that's what we're going to be eating over the winter. We're going to be living off wheat. So we're now in the growth area. So that just kind of has to sit and do its thing, does it? Because at the moment it just looks like normal grass. Um, but okay, sowing seed is over. Well, that's that's going to be there ready for next year then, isn't it? Um, let's. Uh, I want to kind of keep this open in case we end up doing like a town hall area because we have got a town hall. But the problem is, is that these buildings, we probably kind of you can't even get rid of that one, which I, maybe we can only do once we have a uh, a town centre. Is what I'm thinking. So there we go. We are in the growth period. Okay, cool. So that's just that just ticks along there. That's good. Um, let's have a go at a fishery then next. So we can maybe get some something a little bit more instant coming in. Uh, I'm thinking it can go there. And we have a labourer straight away. That's great. Because that was my big problem with that last one. Is it just it just seemed to take a long time for anyone to decide that they were doing something, you know? So here. We have workers. Did, did, can you remember that workers? Remember or not workers are rare, uh, needed. Let's have a look. Um, you can hire workers for plowing and taking care of draft animals. Also, laborers will be automatically hired on sowing and harvesting. Okay, so we, we can hire workers for plowing. So we don't actually need you then, because we're plowed. You maybe just need to rehire you after the winter. Do we have the beginning of crops coming in? It looks like something's happening. Okay, uh, but our fishery is definitely on the rock and roll. We are we are going with that. Oh, there we go. They're hammering away. Hopefully, the uh, yeah, hoping that fishery will bring in food a little bit quicker. And to be honest with you, um. Like fishing's always one of those ones that you get pretty early on, isn't it? In games like this, that they, you know, fishing—it's a—it's a pretty basic skill that. Well, it's not actually; it's a bit tricky, but you know, it's a—it's a skill that um, that people normally sort of smash out relatively early on in this game. So what I was thinking was making this the town hall area, but we're going to struggle to get rid of those buildings. So maybe we have to do it this way. Um, you know, have it like there, and have the farms come off the back of it. Have it there with a well in front of it or something. That could work. Or maybe even we could have a longer a street and we can have the town hall over this way. And you know, bring a couple of houses up either side. Yeah, we could probably do that as well. Okay, cool. Well, we'll keep playing with it. Uh, there's going to be the fishery there. So I feel like we need this market thing. Let's have a look. Um, allows to sell up to four goods to citizens. Yeah, this seems like a, a thing we need. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's start the idea of having the town hall up here. So because of that, we need a we need a market stall. I want to be able to come in so I can see what it looks like. There's the front. Great. Um so we'll put you um 
there. Oh, that just shoots up, okay. And there. So, Nan, uh, you will sell. Um, fish and you work there and you stand there and you sell sell fish but we're not we haven't actually got any yet so do you know what for now we'll, we'll leave you empty but you will sell fish one day my child you're selfish uh here we go but talking of fish uh we're almost there actually we've got a bit of a uh, bit more wood needed. They've got the nails. They've got plenty of nails. Uh, we have a thousand nails stored, stored in the smithy at the moment. We certainly don't need two of you working there. Um, Thatcher is fine. We've won. I would say, let's have a look. Stored 100. Yeah, I'd say actually you're probably all right to run on two. We, we, we need you a little bit. But come on, we're getting our, uh, we're getting our uh, fishing dock nearly sorted. We're waiting on one wood. Heritating. Here it comes though. There's your one wood. There we go. And we're also bringing some thatch. That's good. So everything's there now. So those labourers are going to clear off the list. And well, they haven't disappeared, which means we still need something else. Um, that'd be interesting to see what comes in. Oh look. Ripeness, harvesting, okay. Yeah, harvesting, that's great. So now what what do we do with it? Where does it go now? Uh mills wheat into flour. We need a windmill. That's what we need. Um which is it's definitely doable. Uh let's have a look where would a where would a windmill fit? This building can't be rotated. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, I guess there. Or here. Here. And that'll get started on once the fishing dock is finished, which is about to happen. We're just waiting on... Oh, we just need builders. Oh, come on, folks. All the stuff's there. Let's just have you jumping in and uh, and building, please. Where, where's the wheat going? Is it going down to, to store here? No. Is it just going to people's houses? Where's all the wheat going? Is it going to here? It's wheat, yeah, seven. Right, there we go. I was a bit worried then. Um... There we go, fishing dock's done. Uh, order a boat. Ordered. No boats for fishing. Well, get rid of you then. Do we need a boat at yard? Is that why we haven't got any fishing boats? Shall we just stick one next to you there? That kind of looks right, doesn't it? Let's do that. Okay, God, we've got a lot of advantage. Considering we've got nothing to start off with, we've uh, we've built a bit of an industry here, haven't we? Okay, um, so let's just check what happens to this now. Sewing season is over, yeah. So, I guess it just sorts itself out. Yeah. Okay. We'll see what happens for next year. Um, construction is in process for a windmill. There we go. Oh, that flew. That bit flew up, didn't it? Um, family is out of food. See, here's the problem. Where, who is out of food? So, we need. You need to. Um, we should have done potatoes, shouldn't we? You need to sell flour, and give it, and have a worker there. Um, and then, but it's until they uh, until these windmills built, there's not really much we can do about it. I don't think because uh, we haven't even got any fishing boats. 
We've actually got no way of creating food right now. The only thing we could maybe do is we could turn this into... Oh, no. Um, I don't know how we could turn it into... Let's have you wheat next year and you can be potato next year. There we go. Some potatoes coming in. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure how we do animals. I didn't see. didn't figure that one out. People are coming up here with stuff. There we go. We're getting there. Families out of food. I hope it's the... Oh, no, it's a different one. Okay. I really don't know what to suggest. Other ones have got quite a bit, to be fair. Are you guys, are you guys just being greedy? Is that what it is? Are you guys just being greedy? I think that may well be it. Uh, our labourers are heading over. Here we go. We can see him coming in. Let's drop off some wood. And he'll have some more. So that should be it, I think. Oh no, thatch. One of you's got to go and pick up some thatch. Um, okay. Beginning boatyard has begun. That's good. All right, come on then. Let's get this windmill finished. Let's let's finish the episode on a windmill. You've heard of finishing on a high. Let's finish it on a windmill. Resource supply. Uh, I don't know what that means. Um, okay. Come on. Looking for builders. Please, builders. Anywhere. Windmill has a priority. Why are you building the boatyard? I think, even though there's the list here, I do think that stuff that's nearby just takes priority. So let's pause you, which means hopefully you should come over to here and build it. Is it just that it's too far out? That's my worry, is that it's just too far from civilization to get built. Oh no, we've got a guy coming here. We've got a couple coming in fact. There we go. Looking for a laborers. It's got everything it needs. I think. I didn't see the thatch go in. Oh no, looking for laborers. That's right. Okay, so he's going to go and pick up some thatch. Can somebody go and get some thatch, please? For our windmill. Come on. We need to try and get some flour being produced. We've got 7.5 wheat sitting there, but I don't think they can eat wheat. It needs to be turned into flour. Anyone? Are you... Oh, God, all the houses are vacant. Vacant, 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 vacant. Oh, no. Come on. Why is nobody... This is exactly what happened last time. It just sat there. They're all sitting there moaning about being starving. And nobody came and did anything about it. You need to go. None. Is it just... Is it worth just taking staff away from everywhere else so they've got nothing else to do now you have to kind of now you have to do that one there we go laborers are getting resources there we go the thatch goes in um has the thatch needed i think for this guy to come over and finish it off perfect so We've got two windmills. There we go. Resource supply. Yeah. There we go. They're working. And now you're going to hopefully move wheat to there. Stored one wheat. There we go. And then here's the bar filling up. Okay, good. So we'll, let's let's uh, let's get everyone back operational now. Then it was a bit extreme that we had to do that, but we can do it. It's no problem. So here we go, our windmill is currently having 0.3 flour in it. So now we can sell flour from here. There we go. Now what should happen is we should start moving flour from the windmill to there. Okay. Is that it? Can we now sell flour? 
Let's see, 0 0.3 there is there. Let's um, let's keep an eye on how much uh, how much that does. So the windmill is going ten to the dozen, but it's not actually doing anything. It's got it's got 0 0.7 wheat in it. You can carry on now. There we go. Workers need to be there for it to go up. Yes, it looks like they do. Yeah. Okay. So now we have reserved 0.3 flour. That's good. Over here, it's still there. So I hope people just buy it. We now have 12 people. Now you don't have much food. Ouch, this game is tough. I'm liking it though. I'm enjoying the challenge. Um, there we go. We've done another year. Uh, it looks like at the moment it's about a year per episode, which I'm kind of happy with. Uh, hopefully in the next one we'll get some flour properly on the go. And uh, and people start eating it and distributing it. It's We've got 0.6 sitting there. Yeah, there are people starving. I don't really know how to make them go and get it. Hopefully, uh, I'll find out. Or if you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. And if you can't see the chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so by joining our Discord server. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.